our new formula, right? Guys, we have a new formula that we can follow. That's good. So automatically I know if I want to find the antiderivative, now the antiderivative of capital F prime is just going to be capital F. Yes? Now this constant, this is like A, so that doesn't really change, right? That just kind of remains, um, that A really remains the same there. So I'm going to have that 2 thirds times 1 over n, which is 4 sevenths, plus 1 times x to the 4 sevenths plus 1. And then obviously plus c at the end. So now we just got to simplify this, right? We got to clean that. So technically, that's our antiderivative, and that is correct. But obviously, like on a multiple choice test or anything else, they're going to ask for some simplifying to be done. So I want to make sure we can do this. Um, a couple things. We know that 1 is equal to 7 over 7, right? And I want to use 7 over 7 to keep my common denominators. So let's kind of do some math here. So f of x equals 2 thirds times uh, 1 over, let's see, that could be 11 sevenths times x to the 11 sevenths. Now, 1 over 11 sevenths is really the same thing as just the reciprocal. Just be careful with the inverse use of that. It, it is the multiplicative inverse, but um, a lot of times the we don't like using technically the inverse as a word just because it can be confusing. But does everybody see how you're just basically yeah, reciprocating that, which is the multiplicative inverse in that case? Does everybody see that, how that works? And then you just obviously would multiply that across. So we'd have 14 over 33. And there is our antiderivative.